uh, that should do it. Oh dear. I hope that black bar isn't there for the recording. That would be very awkward. Okay, it should it shouldn't be there. Everything should be functioning as normal. Perfect. Let's get into it. Welcome back, BRL Season 9. Week 2, we're going up against the Peterborough Papatoads. God help me, I don't remember, I once again do not remember the name of the person that runs this team. Uh, so, I'm sorry, I can't remember. I'll put, I'll, I'll still put your name in the description, but I cannot be asked to remember. Sorry, I apologize profusely. But anyway, week two. After week one, we happened to make some trades because I noticed. Uh, if you, I don't know if you noticed, but we lost last game to status. We can say status spam, which is pretty hard for a team to deal with since we have no heal bower. So we have changed that. Instead of a little Momola, we now have Chansey. I realize I forgot. Okay, I forgot something, but that's not a th big problem. We'll get to it when we get to it. Chansey, we it gives us a good Spadefmon. It gives us a cleric. It also has teleport for, uh, what's the word? Uh, momentum. It gets. We can do more stuff than just do nothing, like a Loma Mola does. Uh, it gets rocks, which is very helpful. We got another rocker, which we only had two before. Uh, and yeah, you you know what Chansey does? It, it does may, make us a little bit weaker to fighting types. But we do have Primarina. We do have uh, a Slowbro. So, we sh that should still be fine. Anyway, you may know that this isn't Chansey. This is Abstriker. Uh... So, we're replacing Chat Hot. Uh, I'd have rather kept Chat Hot, but someone told us that, and rightfully so, that our team had a pretty hard time breaking bulky waters. So, having another electric type is very nice. Especially one that gives us another electric community with lightning on motor drive and even a grass community. Stop super, that's not big, as big of a problem because you have like half a million grass resists. Because if we find that. Uh, face uh, an electric type with ice coverage, like say, Rotom Frost, Rotom Frost, and Rotom Frost, then this helps us deal with that, without instantly losing our chomp, or letting it volt switch around for free. So yeah, those are the two new mons, now let's get to the matchup. So, their team is Mega Venusaur, Weavile, Slowbro, Santa Scorch, Copper Raja, Mudsdale, Aromatis, Alino, Rotom, Yen Shao, and Altaria. Now, you may have noticed two things. First, this team is very slow. The the only two like fa fast mons are Weavile and Yen Shao, and even then we can I guess we can kind of include Rotom, but even then that's Rotom isn't that fast. This means. That Primarina goes insane. Half this team is slower than Primarina. Actually, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Half this team is... Let's say exactly half. Because there's a speed tie with uh, Senta Scorch. If it doesn't have speed investment. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. And Altaria, we, I think we might... How fast are they? I think they're like 80, I think? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Point is, Specs Primarina, really good this match. There's really no good switch in here, except like, I guess, Max Spadef Audino and uh, Spadef Venusaur. But even then, it's 2 hit KO by Psychic. So that's really good for us. Now, the second thing you may notice is that this team only has two Defoggers, and they're Rotom and Altaria. And they're pretty terrible defoggers which means we're bringing frost last baby spike's taunt will wisp and shadow ball frankly uh, i might 
I might change out Shadow Ball for Ice Beam, but I like hitting Slow Bro, and also being able to hit Copperage neutrally and Scent Scorch neutrally, and also super effective hit on uh, Rotom is nice. But regardless, this thing is here to lead and set up spikes and do nothing else. That's all it does, and that's all, all it will do. Uh, if they lead Weavile, then that just means we... Listen, if... Just in case it's beat up Choice Band Weavile, we'll go into our dedicated Weavile switch in, which we'll talk about later. But really, Frostlass is here to do something very simple and just set up Spice, because they kind of ruined this team. Alright. Next one, Incineroar. This one is here because Capraja is very scary. And having a, a phys, phys, physically defensive Incineroar, that it can just always switch into it. It's got boots, so Mudsdale Stealth Rocks aren't a problem. It, If my memory serves, it should Oko with Flare Blitz, or at least to hit KO. I'm like 99% sure that it Okos though. Also, Knockoff is pretty free this game, and so is Parting Shot, so... And being able to like parting shot into like a switch in like say Mudsdale, or or uh, I don't know Aromatisse Mien Shao could be very useful. Also, knockoff is always good, especially to get rid of boots that will prevent uh, the spikes from doing what they're supposed to do. But yeah, also toxic for Mudsdale switchins and Sense Scorch and to chip down Sense Scorch. This is another. Uh, this is one of our uh, Sense Scorch switchins. Uh, so yeah, really pretty simple, just a, a bulky pivot here specifically to deal with Kaparaja. And also as a tertiary means to deal with Weavile. Garchomp! Swords Lance, Earthquake, Outrage, Scale Shot. Nothing resists the combination of Dragon and Dragon and Ground here. And uh, the only faster mons are Mian Chao and Weavile. So if we're able to get a Scale Shot and Weavile isn't banded, and we haven't taken too much chip, we can kind of sweep. And even then, uh, Weavile can never switch in, so we'll always take at least one Mon down with us. It, we Slowbro can't even like check us because of Yachberry, so it can't kill us with Ice Beam. But we can always KO it back with plus two Earthquake. And if my memory serves me, uh, Muddale is two hit KO by plus two Outrage. So really, Garchomp is really, is really good this match. The EVs are a bit wrong. I've changed it to be 88 HP and 8 defense to be, to be able to switch into Sense Scorch easier. But really, that's the only change. This Garchomp is going to go really hard out this match, I think. If it gets a good opportunity to switch in, which is allowed by uh, Incineroar or like. On a on a on a on a kale, it could go pretty crazy. Or even switching in on Santa Scorch. All right, another pivot mon that we have, Mega Scizor. This is our dedicated Weavile switch in. It's also our dedicated Mega 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 Venusaur switch in. Uh, so yeah, this thing can kind of is really just the defensive stop cap stopping us from getting destroyed by anything. So, you turn roost. Oopsie poopsie!
Anyway, we're back. Uh, Scizor. You turn for momentum, we switch it on a Weavile, it gets off a hit, and then we just leave. It, it, they could switch into Scent Scorch and get a Flame Body off, but we can also do a Wing Beat, and if my memory serves correctly, that should always KO. Especially if it's max speed, like I expect it to be. And we also have 176 speed, if, if, if we somehow cal cal see the Calx and we happen to be faster than Scent Scorch. Uh, knock off, just a general good move to have, knocks off Mudzil's leftovers, Copperage's leftovers, or Life Orb, uh, Center Scorch's boots, Slowbro's boots, and also, speaking of dual wing beat, it should, it should always 2 hit KO even physically defensive Venusaur. Uh, and Venusaur can't really do anything to us, unless it's like Sunny Day Weather Ball, which... It's very, like, uh, what's the word, uh, we can see, we can see it happening. Like, if it goes for sunny day, we know it's coming next, really. And then we can just kind of go into instant and go from there. Because it's not like we can't stop a sun Venusaur. We have ways around it. Speaking of ways around stuff... Galarian Slowbro. Now, this set went through a lot of change. This started off as a Nasty Plot Quick Claw Quick Draw set, and I even used that set in the mock, and it went kind of crazy. However, uh, that does make us, that did leave us pretty vulnerable to Mian Chao, which this set, which, with Slack Off and Regenerator and a Cobra Berry, does not. This lets us always switch into. Slowbro, uh, slow, Mian Shao, my bad, and uh, if we need, we can always uh, slack, slack off some damage, or uh, get off a Sludge Bomb for possible poisons, Flamethrower is there for Copperaja, uh, and Slack Off is just here to keep us alive. This also helps us against Venusaur, because Psychic is always a 2 hit KO, if I remember correctly. Again, this always goes on if I remember correctly, which I might not. But regardless, yeah, that's what this is going to do. It's going to come in on me and Xiao and then go back out and heal up with the Regenerator. If they if they you turn into Weavile, we we can either take the Cobra and KO it, which will be very helpful for Garchomp, or we switch back out into Scizor and. Uh, you know, start off on the U-turn train again. But yeah, that's the team. Uh, I have a pretty good feeling about this. I'm, I got a feeling that we'll win this one. Uh, we got a good matchup. It's better than last week's, I think. But uh, then again, I also won last week's mock. Uh, so, despite the fact that I won this mock, uh, that means nothing as we've seen. But... I do believe that we've got this in the bag. Let's not jinx it, alright? I'll see you in the match. In a moment. Farewell. Alright, we're back for real this time. Uh, there was a bit of an interruption. Uh, I started recording a bit earlier, but stuff happened. I had to take a call. But regardless, we're going! Let's get this show on the road. Since of course, yeah, we were there. No Mian Chao. This means I should have definitely. I regret not bringing a uh, quick draw, quick claw. Slow, bro. I'm gonna just do this real quick. Ooh, where is it? There we go. Cool. Do our little good luck. Have fun. Alright, so leads. No removal. Alright, we know the lead. That makes it easy. So, their lead's probably going to be Weavile. So, if they lead Weavile against us, we... Uh, we just switch into Scizor. Simple as that. And then you turn out. I don't really know what Audino is doing here, frankly. Kind of a strange thing to be here. Anyway, spikes. 
Would you look at that, disabled. More spikes. All right, who goes in next? Um, yeah, Garchomp. Now we go for Swords Dance. Just to make sure. Garchomp. Uh, sl Slowbro. Plus two. Should K with Earthquake, I don't need to go for Outrage. Oh yeah, even with Spike, so yeah, definitely. Go for Earthquake again. There is no Earthquake resist on this team. So we can just click it to our heart's content. So they either stack this bro here, yep, as expected. And now Eval comes in, which now we can just switch into Scizor. And you turn Dual Wing Beat. Yeah, Dual Wing Beat. Yeah, this is Boots. Boom. There goes Flame Body. Unsurprising. Uh, But now it doesn't have that much health left, so we go into Garchomp. Lunge. Alrighty then. Does Garchomp at minus one? Oko Sentiscorch. Uh huh. Let me test with max HP, 38%. It should always KO. Yep. I can kind of just go for... What's this thing going to do? It doesn't have... I'm just going to go for Swords Dance. Yep, I thought that might happen. Okay, time to go into Primarina now. And go for uh, Hydro Pump. It lives. Okay, this is going kind of poorly now. Protect, all right. I'm still just going to click knockoff. I want these leftovers out of here. Don't really have a consistent switch into knockoff now, unless they go into Venusaur, which I think would be. They might. I I just I I just assume they're going to go in for Wish. Yeah. Parting shot, yep. Just covering for that option. Now I go for uh, toxic. Great, great. Okay, wonderful. Very nice. Very useful. Very delightful. 
All right, knockoff. No, we just keep going for knockoff. This thing really doesn't want to die. And we're going to lose a lot of health because we missed that toxic, and that's really bad. But oh well, sometimes life is just like that, you know? Not much you can do. I think we can still win this. Free Marine is still alive. Scissor may be burned, but that's that we should still be able to tank pretty well. Now, Mudsdale can't come in unless it wants to get le its leftovers knocked off or toxic. Uh, I don't think... If Weavile just comes in, we just go to Scizor and preserve instant for later. And then we U-turn out. Darn, we've had pretty bad luck this game. First, that instant burn on dual wing beat. Okay, this is good. This is good. Now, hopefully, we don't miss toxic. Actually, hold on. Parting shot. That's that's smarter. We still got boots. Now we just go into pre marina. I don't really care about Toxic, because now I just go for, how much did Hydro Pump do to 57 to, I think I will go Scald, oh yeah it has regen, I forgot, no burn unfortunately. But that's fine. I'll just go back into Insin. Protect, huh? Alright. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, how much did knockoff do? Forty one okay, yeah. I'm going blitz. Yeah, that was probably not smart. Doesn't matter, we're fine. We're never punished. Parting shot. Punishment? Never heard of that. Punishment? I hardly know her. Hardy hardy hard hardy hard hard. Anyway, how much does this call do? I forgot. 44 <sighs> yay, yay. I think I'll go for Specs Moon last wait back that up pre marina for Specs on Mudsdale Moon Blast should always KO at this range yep Moon Blast let's go Okay, Weavile's dead. That's good. All right, we can. We we will probably we can still win this. Go into, uh, go into Scizor.
even with all the chip and the burn, we should still be able to outstall this Venusaur. I don't know what set this could be running. Also, we, st we still have Bro in the back. And it won't die to an Earth Power. And unless this goes like, ooh, I'm gonna Swords Dance. Yeah, what what if this is like Swords Dance? That that'd be funny. It's not. What oh, damn? That did more damage than I was expecting. Roost. I wonder how this how it hits. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how I expect it. We lose now because of the burn, don't we? How delightful. Actually, hold on. Against Venusaur Mega um, Dual Wing Beat. How much attack investment do we have again? 355. So that'll. And how much does Slow Bro Gallery Psychic? And Earth Power, how much does it do? <sighs> so, we'll do a wing, we did about 24. So, that brings us down to 2460. Psychic. Uh, two six two, two six two. Oh, that's ugh. Why do we have to get burned? I think we just lose now. Alright. Wait. Wait! We might not just lose now. We might got this. Get poison, get poison, get poison, get poison. Yes! Yes! We're still in this. Instant sack. Oh no. Oh, oh yes! Alright. This is going to come down to whether... Okay, I'm, sh I'm shaking, I'm shaking. How much did Dual Wing Beat do in total? Dual Wing Beat did... This is going to... This is closer. 30, 18, 30, 18, that's... That's 39. So it's not that bulky. Might be off 30. Modest. Yeah, that sounds about right. No, it's even less. It's... What? What set is this? Thirty-three, forty-eight percent, forty-eight percent. It's called guaranteed two hit KO with 
two layers of spikes. Two, four, seven, four. The sun's gone, the sun's gone, the sun's gone. Ooh, Zui Mama. All right, eighty. Ugh, it's all gonna come down to if I hit two hydro pumps. I think. Unless we get the burn, but... Or we get the... I don't know exactly what this thing's investment is. Do we be That's the only move we got on it. Uh, how much did... Where's Earth Power? Wait. Earth Power on... Scizor. 34. Scizor. Mega. I don't have that much but def. Yeah, I think this is this has to be modest, but it I don't know how much actual Regardless, Boomerina goes in. So times like this. That I wish. Wait, Mudsdale? No, Mudsdale's not gonna die to psychic. Prima Rina, man. Choice by Scald. Fucking. After two layers of spikes. Okay, so I think Let's let's think this through. Hydro if we hydro pump and he stays in and we hit the hydro pump, uh, we win. Straight up, unless he crits, bro. If we hydro pump and he switches, we win. If we hit, we win. If we miss, we lose. If we miss hydro pump any of these two times, we lose. Simple as that. But if we scald here, and he doesn't switch, that'd be suicide. So. That's not a factor. The factor is 37% with another 30%. Hydro pump. We win! We win! Okay, that's good. Psychic should KO now. Please? Please. I'm begging. Yes! Victory! That was a close game. It came down to Hydro Pump hitting or the roll of to for call to KO. Ugh. Whew. I did kind of throw away Garchomp, because I knew it was probably going to be Ice Beam, but I still stayed in. But also, congrats to Frostlast. Spikes went ham this game. They really kind of did that. Uh, anyway, yeah, that was wacky.
Yeah, we did it. We survived being burned straight up. We survived uh, the surprise ice beam Otterno. We f really, uh, I should have just anticipated that and gone into Incin. But I didn't do that. So that was my bad. We learned from our mistakes. So I'll, if I see something that probably has ice beam, on my Garchomp, and I want to set up, just don't do that, you know? So yeah, that was the match. That was, re went really well. Thank you to Green... 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 You know, that, that person. For the battle, it went surprisingly well. And it was fun. This was a, a, a nail-biter, really. Uh, but yeah. That's that. Have a good afternoon, everybody. We'll see you next week when we fight dicks. Ta -da 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 -da. That's all, folks.